Hello everyone, and welcome to Slice Print Roleplay. In this episode, I'm going to talk about three plugins for Ultimate Cura that I think are really useful. Alright, let's get to it. So before we get started, I wanted to give a thank you to Fantasy. They recently joined my Patreon, and I just wanted to take a minute to say how much their support means to me. Thank you so much, I really appreciate it. So first, let's talk about the settings guide plugin from Ghostkeeper. This plugin is exactly what it sounds like, it's just going to be a much more detailed description of what each setting does. So for example, if I go down to infill and I hover over infill density, it'll bring up a really big description of what infill density is, how it affects your prints, and it'll even give you some pictures to describe the difference. And if you want even more information, you can right click on the setting, hit settings guide, and it'll bring up another window with even more info. And from here, you can even click on the pictures so you can enlarge them to get a better look. So like I said, I found this to be a really useful plugin, and I definitely recommend it for anyone who's just starting out, or anyone who just has some questions about how all of these different settings work and how they interact with each other. Next, we're going to go over the Calibration Shapes plugin from 5Axes. And there are two things that make this plugin so useful. First, if you go up to Extensions, and then down to Part for Calibration, you can bring in a bunch of different really useful test models. So for example, I'm going to bring in a PLA Temp Tower. So it comes with a bunch of test models, but if you go back up to extensions, then post-processing, modify G-code, and add a script, you can see that it has a bunch of scripts for those different tests as well. So if I come down here to temp fan tower, all I have to do is add in these four values and hit slice and my test is ready to go. If you want a full tutorial on how to create a temp tower test using the calibration shapes plugin, you can find my link to that video down below. Next up, we're going to talk about the Custom Supports plugin by Kreasimir Stefanov. I probably butchered that, and I'm sorry. Alright, so I'm going to use that same Temp Tower model to show you how these Custom Supports work. So with your model highlighted, if you come down to this staircase looking symbol down here, you'll have a couple of different settings that you can change as part of the plugin, but the main bulk of your support settings will still come from Cura. But the beauty of this plugin is that you can adjust all your support settings in here and fine tune everything and get it right where you want it, and then turn your supports off, because all the supports you add from the plugin will be generated as supports even if Cura supports are turned off. Now that sounds confusing, let me just show you. So you can see even though I have supports turned off over here in the main menu, I'm still generating supports because of the plugin. So it's really useful anytime you want to add a small amount of supports to something, but you don't need to add all the overwhelming supports that the Cura would normally bring in. This will save you time and material. And if you want a more detailed tutorial on how to use this plugin, I'll have that link down below as well. Alright, so those are the three plugins for Cura I've found to be invaluable for everyday use. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please like and subscribe. It helps the channel grow and I really appreciate it. And if you like the work that I'm doing here and you want to support my channel, you can find my Patreon link down below. There's a ton of really cool rewards there, including ad-free videos. So if that's something you're interested in, definitely check it out. Alright, now let's go print something.